Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Ketemu lagi kita teman-teman uh, Pada video pembahasan soal-soal tukul Kali ini listening part C ya. Soal nomor 38 sampai dengan 450 ya. Nah key pointnya seperti biasa silahkan dibaca ya. Jadi part C ini sama dengan part B ya. Jawabannya itu biasanya satu ranah ya. Uh, jadi ketika kita mendengar, jadi kita harus sambil melihat soal ya. Kalau yang ini silahkan dibaca key pointnya. Saya akan jelaskan secara singkat untuk tambahannya. Jadi satu ranah itu maksudnya seperti ini. Kalau dia kalimat kalimat semua, kalau dia kata, kata benda kata benda semua. Nah, jadi kalau kita sudah tahu seperti ini, kita bisa memprediksi ya. Uh, pertanyaannya akan timbul ya biasanya kan eh, <tuh> part C ini kan dalam bentuk monolog ya jadi eh, satu monolog biasanya tiga sampai eh, lima pertanyaan oke okay? nah kalau bisa diusahakan eh, membaca opsi-opsi jawaban kalau sempat ya kalau tidak ya apa boleh buat sehingga kita bisa memprediksi eh, pertanyaan yang akan timbul karena biasanya itu e, jawaban itu seringkali sama dengan apa yang ada di opsi jawaban jadi jangan 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 memejamkan mata ya untuk fokus ya tetap melihat e, opsi soal pada saat audio diputar oke e, nanti akan kita bahas lebih lanjut ya e, seperti biasa dalam soal listening nanti saya beri waktu teman-teman untuk menjawab dulu ya soal dari nomor 38 e, sampai 50 ini ya setelah itu saya akan berikan e, transkripnya dan kita bahas sama-sama oke okay. oke okay, sebelum e, kita mulai ya untuk menjawab soal ya izinkan saya dulu seperti biasa ya menyampaikan informasi berikut ya jika ada yang perlu jasa penerjemah Indonesia ke Inggris ataupun sebaliknya ya silakan hubungi e, melalui email ya atau melalui WA e, dengan nomor ini terima kasih oke teman-teman e, silakan sediakan alat tulisnya ya e, pensil atau pena dengan kertasnya kalau sudah kita mulai saja Soal 38 sampai dengan 42 Questions 38 to 42 Listen to a student telling his friends about an experience he had I saw something rather unusual late last Sunday night My roommate Ron and I were driving back here to the university from my parents house they live in a small town about 70 miles from here. We'd stopped so that I could drive. Ron was really tired. When all of a sudden, the whole sky was lit up. I thought I was seeing a UFO, a real flying saucer. Ron thought maybe it was an airliner going down or a satellite coming out of orbit. A fireball shot across the sky. It looked almost like fireworks. Then the light disappeared behind the hills. It wasn't until the next morning, when I was listening to the morning news on the radio, that I found out what had happened. Apparently, I'd seen a large meteorite. The light was caused by the heat of friction as the meteor traveled through the atmosphere. Most meteors burn up in the upper atmosphere, according to the announcer, but large ones can hit the ground. This one was unusual in that pieces of it were recovered. They landed in a parking lot about 20 miles from where we were. My mother told me that when she was young, she read a story in a magazine about a meteorite that crashed through the roof of a house and hit a woman sleeping in her bedroom and broke her leg. Anyway, it was an incredible sight, and I'm glad I was lucky enough to see it. Number 38. What did the man initially believe he had seen?
Number 39. Why had the man stopped the car? Number 40. How did the man learn what he had actually seen? Number 41. What happened to the meteor that the man had seen? Number 42. How did the man feel about what he had seen? Questions 43 to 46. Listen to a talk given by a tour guide. Ladies and gentlemen, the bus will stop next at the Washington Monument, which honors the first president of the United States. The first stone of the monument was laid in 1848, but because of a variety of problems, work was delayed. So it was not until 1884 that the monument was completed. Imagine that. It took 36 years. And then it was another four years before it opened to the public. Now, if you like, you can go to the top of the monument. On the way up, you'll have to take the elevator. You can take the elevator down, too, or you can walk, if you don't mind climbing down 898 steps. The monument is made of marble, except for a tiny aluminum tip. Incidentally, before the tip was put on the monument, it was displayed around the country. Some young people jumped over the tip so that later they could truthfully claim that they'd jumped over the top of the Washington Monument. After visiting the Washington Monument, we'll be walking over to the Lincoln Memorial. Watch your step as you get off the bus, please. Number 43. Where is this talk probably being given? Number 44. How long did it take to build the Washington Monument? Number 45. According to the speaker, what must those people who go to the top of the Washington Monument do? Number 46. According to the speaker, what did some young people do when the tip of the monument was displayed? Questions 47 to 50. Listen to the following lecture. Good day, class. Today we're going to continue our discussion of American music with a look at the songs of the frontier period. Nearly everyone who went west, the mountaineers, the miners, the river raftsmen, the railroad workers, had songs to accompany their work. And after work, the men and women of the frontier sang and danced to fiddle tunes or country dances. Some of these songs were new versions of old songs from Europe, while some were completely new. Some of the most popular of these songs were later used as theme songs for political campaigns. Now, we're going to listen to a few of these songs performed much as they were almost two centuries ago. As you listen to the recordings, notice the difference between these lively songs and the slower, more genteel music of the Eastern Choral Societies that we listened to in our last class.
Number 47. In what course is this lecture probably given? Number 48. What can be inferred about the Songs of the Frontier? Number 49. According to the speaker, how do these songs compare with the songs of Eastern Choral Societies? Number 50. What will the people who are listening to this lecture probably do next? Oke, okay. bagaimana teman-teman? Sudah bisa jawab? Oke, okay. sekarang kita bahas sama-sama ya. Uh, jawaban teman-teman dengan uh, hasil bahasan kita nanti. Oke. Okay. Uh, sekarang saya putarkan lagi ya recording scriptnya sambil teman-teman lihat ini recording scriptnya. Questions 38 to 42. Listen to a student telling his friends about an experience he had. I saw something rather unusual late last Sunday night. My roommate Ron and I were driving back here to the university from my parents' house. They live in a small town about 70 miles from here. We'd stopped so that I could drive. Ron was really tired. When all of a sudden, the whole sky was lit up. I thought I was seeing a UFO, a real flying saucer. Ron thought maybe it was an airliner going down or a satellite coming out of orbit. A fireball shot across the sky. It looked almost like fireworks. Then the light disappeared behind the hills. It wasn't until the next morning, when I was listening to the morning news on the radio, that I found out what had happened. Apparently, I'd seen a large meteorite. The light was caused by the heat of friction as the meteor traveled through the atmosphere. Most meteors burn up in the upper atmosphere, according to the announcer, but large ones can hit the ground. This one was unusual in that pieces of it were recovered. They landed in a parking lot about 20 miles from where we were. My mother told me that when she was young, she read a story in a magazine about a meteorite that crashed through the roof of a house and hit a woman sleeping in her bedroom and broke her leg. Anyway, it was an incredible sight, and I'm glad I was lucky enough to see it. Okay, sekarang kita lihat soalnya ya. Nah, <clears throat> okay. Uh, nomor 38. What did the man initially believe he had seen? Okay. Tentunya jawabannya itu adalah D, yeah. A flying saucer. Karena dari apa namanya di sini pas kita mendengar secara kawan ada keywordnya di sini, okay. Nah, jadi seperti itulah kira-kira ya. Jadi sambil mendengar, sambil lihat opsi jawaban ya untuk patsi ya, khusus patsi. Jadi sambil dengar, sambil lihat jawaban, ya terkadang e, jawaban itu sudah diucapkan sebelumnya ya. E, bahkan ya, kalau kita bisa menerka pertanyaan yang akan timbul dari opsi-opsi jawaban itu, e, itu lebih lagi karena memang seperti tadi di awal sudah saya katakan Opsi jawabannya itu satu ranah ya Kalau kalimat-kalimat semua Kalau kata sifat-kata sifat semua Kalau kata benda Kata benda semua dan seterusnya dan seterusnya Jadi kita bisa menerka uh, Kata tanya yang akan digunakan Dalam pertanyaan tersebut Oke okay. Seperti ini Nah An airplane Satellite Firework Flying saucer Ini kata benda semua Oke okay. Nah sekarang nomor 39 coba lihat di sini semuanya pakai to infinitive ya 
satu tuh ya so why had the man stop the car kenapa laki-laki itu memberhentikan mobilnya nah dari bacaan dari listening tadi kita dapati bahwa jawabannya adalah C ya A D to change the. dari sini kita lihat which stops so that I could drive oke okay. which stop then I could drive my roommate Ron and I were driving nah jadi dari sini kita tahu bahwasanya Ronnya dulu menyetir kemudian baru sayanya oke okay. Sekarang kita lihat uh, soal nomor 40 How did the man learn what he had actually seen? Oke okay. Nah ini sama tadi Dia ucapkan juga dari sini Oke okay. From the news radio Oke okay, di sini kita bisa lihat I was listening <coughs> to the morning news radio Jadi memang part C ini ya Uh, hampir sama dengan 4B ya kalau 4B itu kan uh, uh, long conversation ya <coughs> maaf percakapan panjang sedangkan ini kan monolog jadi apa yang diucapkan biasanya ada di opsi jawaban kira-kira begitu ya kalau 41 what happened to the meteor that man had seen nah apa yang terjadi terhadap meteor yang sudah uh, dia lihat itu jawabannya adalah D ya sorry maaf it broke into pieces before striking to the ground nah dari sini kita dapatnya most meteor burn up in the upper atmosphere oke okay. jadi kalau ditanya what happened to the meteor that man had seen broke into pieces before striking to to the ground oke okay. nomor 42 how did the man feel about what He had seen. Nah, oke. Okay. Apa yang dirasakan ketika dia melihat? Kalau kita dengarkan tadi jawabannya itu adalah C, ya. Kita bisa lihat dari sini. I'm glad I was lucky enough to see it. Nah, jadi part C ini, ya, jawaban biasanya, ya, jawaban. 39 misalnya tidak mungkin didapat sebelum 38 dia harus berurutan jawabannya 38 dulu 39 dulu 40 dulu dan seterusnya oke nah sekarang saya putarkan lagi pertanyaannya number 38 what did the man initially believe he had seen Number 39. Why had the man stopped the car? Number 40. How did the man learn what he had actually seen? Number 41. What happened to the meteor that the man had seen? Number 42. How did the man feel about what he had seen? Okay, sekarang kita lanjut ke tip script nomor 43 sampai 46 ya silakan didengarkan questions 43 to 46 listen to a talk given by a tour guide ladies and gentlemen the bus will stop next at the Washington Monument which honors the first president of the United States the first stone of the monument was laid in 1848 but because of a variety of problems, work was delayed. So it was not until 1884 that the monument was completed. Imagine that. It took 36 years. And then it was another four years before it opened to the public. Now, if you like, 
you can go to the top of the monument. On the way up, you'll have to take the elevator. You can take the elevator down, too, or you can walk, if you don't mind climbing down 898 steps. The monument is made of marble, except for a tiny aluminum tip. Incidentally, before the tip was put on the monument, it was displayed around the country. Some young people jumped over the tip so that later they could truthfully claim that they'd jumped over the top of the Washington Monument. After visiting the Washington Monument, we'll be walking over to the Lincoln Memorial. Watch your step as you get off the bus, please. Okay, sekarang kita bahas soalnya. <coughs> nih, where is this stock probably being given? Nah, di mana kira-kira nih? percakapannya terjadi tentu A ah, ya jawabannya ya karena di awal sudah disebutkannya ya ladies and gentlemen the bus will stop next at the Washington the bus will stop berarti kan mereka sedang jalan oke okay. jadi jawabannya itu adalah A ah, ya nomor 44 how long did it take to build Washington ini pun juga diucapkannya tadi ini diucapkannya tadi 36 years ya yeah. 36 years nah nih dari itu 36 years oke okay. jadi memang uh, pasti ya yeah. kita harus melihat opsi jawaban sambil mendengar oke okay. karena memang jawabannya diucapkannya ya yeah. tidak seperti part A ya yeah. kalau part A itu itu betul-betul uh, berbeda dengan apa yang didengar. Nah sekarang 45, 45. According to the speaker, what must those people who go to the top of the Washington Monument do? Apa yang dilakukan? Jawabannya B. Jadi dari sini kita dapatnya ya, uh, Natali. Nah, now if you like, you can go to the top of the mon the monument. On the way up, you have to take the elevator. Okay. Jadi, according to the speaker, what must people do? Who go to the top of the mountain? Do take the elevator to to the top. Okay. Number four, according to the speaker, what did some young people do when the tip of the mountain was displayed? Tentu jawabnya apa? They jump over it. Yeah. Jadi dari sini nih. Uh, instead, before the tip was put on the monument, it was displayed around the country. Some young people jump over the tip, so that later they could truthfully claim that they have jumped over the top of the Washington Monument. Makanya jawabannya they jump over it, yeah. Of the moment was displayed. Okay, sekarang saya putarkan, ya, yeah, uh, pertanyaannya. Number forty-three. Where is this talk probably being given? Number 44. How long did it take to build the Washington Monument? Number 45. According to the speaker, what must those people who go to the top of the Washington Monument do? Number 46. According to the speaker, what did some young people do when the tip of the monument was displayed? Questions 47 to 50. Listen to the following lecture. Good day, class. Today we're going to continue our discussion of American music with a look at the songs of the frontier period. Nearly everyone who went west, the mountaineers, the miners, the river raftsmen, the railroad workers, had songs to accompany their work. 
and after work, the men and women of the frontier sang and danced to fiddle tunes or country dances. Some of these songs were new versions of old songs from Europe, while some were completely new. Some of the most popular of these songs were later used as theme songs for political campaigns. Now, we're going to listen to a few of these songs performed much as they were almost two centuries ago. As you listen to the recordings, notice the difference between these lively songs and the slower, more genteel music of the Eastern Choral Societies that we listened to in our last class. Number Okay, sekarang kita bahas nomor 47. So, in what course is this lecture probably given? Yeah. Nah, di sini ada jebakan dan nyebut tadi history, tapi bukan itu sebenarnya ya. Itu jawabannya adalah music appreciation. Kalau kita lihat dari text scriptnya, discussion of American music. Oke. Okay. Ya. Di sini juga dibilangnya tadi ada dia mengatakan apa? History kalau nggak salah. Oh, maaf, ternyata tidak ada ya. Oke, okay, kita lanjutkan ke nomor 48. What can be inferred about the songs of the frontier? Ya. Jawabannya itu adalah A ya. Jadi 48 itu jawabannya itu A. They were important part of the daily lives of the people of the frontier. Oke, okay. uh, mungkin kita bisa ambil dari sini ya. Frontier period ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Bisa juga dari dari sini. Some of the song were new version of folk song Europe. Nah. Jadi eh uh, nomor 48 info about song of the frontier daily lives of the people of the the frontier. atau juga bisa diambil dari sini sebenarnya ya. Nearly everyone who went was the mon when who went west ya. Yeah. Mountainers, miners, rivers, women, railroad, uh, sorry, rapsmen, the rail workers had song to accompany their work. Nah, di sini, sebenarnya dari sini, daily life ya. Oke, okay. uh, sekarang kita lihat nomor 49 ya. <coughs> According to the speaker, how do this song compare with the song of Eastern Choral uh, Societies? Di sini jawabannya adalah they were live liar oke oke jadi live liar di sini they were live liar artinya uh, membuat suasana lebih hidup gitu ya jadi uh, di sini kita bisa ambil kesimpulannya dari sini ya ya yeah. after work ya yeah. the men and women of frontier sang and dance jadi inilah kata kuncinya sang dance ya yeah. Middleton or country dances ya. Nah tapi e, kalau kita tidak tahu arti ini live layer ya agak susah memang ya. Oke. Okay. Tapi kalau ketemu soal seperti ini ya, jadi kita buat eliminasi saja ya. Kalau kita dengar e, sesuatu yang positif ya, otomatis jawabannya positif. Kalau ini kan negatif, ini juga negatif ya. Harder ini juga tidak ada hubungan dengan apa they weren't concerned with politics ini salah juga tadi kan di di di, di audio juga disebutkan apa later kalau nggak salah tadi saya nanya later use as theme song for political campaign nah jadi kalau soal seperti ini ya kalau kita agak blank ya kita main eliminasi ya oke okay? Nah, soal nomor 50 What will the people who are listening to this lectures probably do next? Kira-kira apa yang dilakukannya berikutnya? Tentu jawabannya D ya. Kita bisa lihat di sini. Di sini sudah jelas sekali ya. Dan now we are going to listen to a few of this song perform much as they were almost two centuries ago. We are going to listen, oke? Okay? Oke, okay. nah jadi uh, betul memang uh, untuk pasti ya. Ketika kita mendengar audio seperti ini, kita harus 
melihat opsi jawaban. Oke, okay. sekarang saya putarkan lagi ya. 47. Force is this lecture probably given? Number 48. What can be inferred about the songs of the frontier? Number 49. According to the speaker, how do these songs compare with the songs of Eastern choral societies? Number 50. What will the people who are listening to this lecture probably do next? Oke, okay. uh, teman-teman sampai di sini dulu ya video kali ini ya. Uh, Mudah-mudahan bisa dipahami ya. Uh, jika ada pertanyaan silakan tulis di kolom komentar ya jika ada kritikan juga silakan ya mudah-mudahan untuk video berikutnya akan diperbaiki ya e, semoga bermanfaat dan terima kasih sudah menonton saya akhiri assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh